Hello everyone, welcome back to An Italian in My Kitchen. I am Erica, and today we are going to make a breakfast recipe. A very easy and quick breakfast recipe that I'm sure you're going to love if you like ricotta, because we are making ricotta chocolate chip muffins. So these muffins are going to be soft and moist thanks to the ricotta cheese that we're going to add into the recipe. Plus it has chocolate chips, so it's going to be nice and sweet because we love a sweet breakfast around here. So let's go make it. First of all, remember to preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius and also grease and flour or line with paper cups a muffin tin. Then take a large bowl and add four tablespoons plus three quarter tablespoons of granulated sugar, one cup of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of salt and a quarter cup of unsweetened chocolate chips. And then whisk this all together. And then we'll set this aside. Then take a medium bowl and whisk together until combined one egg, one large egg, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, or you can also use butter, melted butter, for this recipe, but I'm using vegetable oil, four and a half tablespoons of milk, I'm using 2% milk, half a cup of ricotta cheese, and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And as we said, we'll whisk this until combined. Then take your dry ingredients again, and we're going to add our wet ingredients into our dry ingredients. And stir just until combined, about 15 to 16 stirs, really. You don't want to overmix. Never overmix muffin butter. And now take a scoop, a cookie scoop, an ice cream scoop, or just use two spoons if you don't have a scoop. And take your muffin tin, and we're just going to scoop our muffin butter into our liners. Just like that. Have a medium sized scoop here. And you don't have to fill it all the way to the top because they are going to puff up. So just almost a little bit more than halfway up the liner. Now that we have our muffins in our muffin tin, we're going to bake them for 10 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and then we'll lower the temperature to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius, and bake them for another 10 minutes, or until a toothpick inserted into the center of the muffin comes out clean or with just a few crumbs attached to it. I'll see you in just a second. And here you go, we have our muffins all nice and baked. So now we're going to just leave them here to cool down for about 10 minutes and then we can place them on top of a cooling rack directly and then sprinkle some nice powdered sugar on top just to finish it off when they're nice and cool. So there you go guys, we have our muffins nice and baked. We sprinkled some good powdered sugar on top and now we're gonna try it. So I like putting them in the paper liners just because it's easier to then eat them. But look, look at how they look. They look so good. 
Look at that. Can you see that? Ooh. And now I'm going to open it so you can see what it looks like inside. See that? So good. So good. Okay. My favorite part of a muffin is always the top part. What part do you prefer? I love the top part. That's what I go for first. But look at those, look at that melted chocolate right there. Ooh, it's so soft too. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking and I'm just gonna eat it. Buon appetito. Mm hmm. Hmm. So good. Wow. It's a bit messy, but so good. It's so soft inside and the taste, taste is very subtle. So you, it, it's not a very sweet muffin, that's for sure, but it's soft and you get that sweetness from the chocolate. So it's so perfect. If you don't like muffins that are too sweet, then this one is probably the one for you just because it has the sweetness, but it doesn't overpower the, the muffin. So it's really good. And then you get some more of that sweetness from the powdered sugar if you want to add it you don't have to but it's always um, it's always nice to add some powdered sugar on top that's what I, I just find that Italians really love their powdered sugar so we added some powdered sugar on top because it also makes them very very nice and lovely to look at so these are so good I hope you enjoy them if you make them let me know what you think in the comment section and as always you'll find all the ingredients links measurements in the description box below if you like this recipe leave us a like and if you're new to the channel subscribe and I will see you in the next one bye I'm gonna go finish my, my breakfast muffin bye